Welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about data items or variables. A data item or variable is a named location in memory in which a program can store a data value and from which it can retrieve the stored value. When you are defining a data item in your program, you need to give it a name and that name is called data name, which is used to identify the area of memory reserved for a data item. A data item must also be described in term of its basic type like alphabetic, alphanumeric or numeric and its size. There are two types of data items, elementary data items and group data item. An elementary data item is nothing but a variable in other programming languages. It is an atomic data item that cannot be further divided. An elementary data item declaration consists of following mandatory items. A level number, a data name or identifier, a picture or pick clause. Here is an example of data item declaration. Data item or variable is declared under the working storage section of data division. In this example, we have declared a variable or data item with a name as amount. We have started with 01 that is a level number and we will discuss about level number in group data items. As of now, you just understand that level number is a numeric value from 01 to 49. After level number, we have coded data item name or variable name that is amount. And after the variable name, we have coded the picture clause or pick clause. In front of pick clause, we have coded triple nine, which tells that the type of this variable is numeric and the size is of three digits. So the maximum value which amount variable can store is 999. After picture close, there is optional value clause. Value clause is used to assign initial or starting values to a variable. In this example, we are assigning zeros to amount variable. If you observe, we have used zeros, which is a figurative constant provided by the COBOL program. Usage and justified are other common optional clauses, which you can see with data declaration. With this, we have reached the end of this lesson. I hope it has given you a fair idea about elementary data item and how we can declare them. Keep practicing. See you.